What was the big rush to get married? Yeah, exactly. It was a big rush. Being an idiot. My 16-year-old daughter and I love your show. We think it's fun, and she calls you Tom Likes Us. If I'm blessed enough to meet my soulmate, why would I go and blow it with marriage? I think that for the average listener or someone that, you know, real young, I think they need to listen to what everything you say literally as I do. For you, you only get it from woman you sex. That's it. Yes, because that's what women are good for. <gasps> oh, my God. You're not going to believe I have a good surprise for you. Really? Yes, I dumped the bitch after nine years of marriage. Tom, I'm never going to get married, dude, just for the simple fact that you and my mother hate you, my sister hates you, my aunt hates you, all the chicks I know hate you. I don't even like going out with the chick, but I'm backing. I would rather just go straight to business. I hear that. But the price of admission is standing around listening to them blab for a little while. Nye, nye, nye. Somebody at work, blah, 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 friend of mine, blah, 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 gossip, gossip, gossip. Come to the bathroom with me. I want to talk to you nye, about nye. your boyfriend. Oh, forget it. Tony Romo needs to have it in his contract where he has no girlfriends in the month of December. <laughs> Absolutely no girlfriends, and if he does have a girlfriend, he loses a million dollars or something, you know? <laughs> Tom, I, you're, the, you're the godfather of all that is good, man. I'm telling you. And I can't wait to get my son to listen to the show, man. Do you teach the guys no foreplay? Well, put it this way. I tell the guys your main concern is getting what you came for. Oh, my goodness, Tom. This is horrible. This is not romantic. I feel very bad for the psycho lady, whoever did that to your house or did that to you. It's just a typical California woman, man. They are psychos. They are beautiful from outside and they are sick from inside. Simple as that. Hey, I was listening to this, uh, listening to the whole thing, and I'm just driving right now, and you're saying that was up on YouTube, so punch it up on my uh, iPhone to see it because I'm driving. Oh, it's classic, man. You should have put a camera on your doormat. That would have been a nice upskirt shot. <laughs> You know, we're looking up on Monday, and Tom, I'm about to get this chick so soft, I'm going to be boner, and I'm going to put like it's one on her ass, and I will take a picture of it and send it to you so you can put that on your website. Tom. I love it. We'll put it right next to the girl who peed on my front door. You have no respect for women, man. You, uh, really? You, you kind of just talk to them like they're kind of like meat, man. By, well, by, by the way, uh, all women are not meat. Some women are just a big rump roast. God, I hate to talk to you. I try to call and... Make you see it my way. You uh, you always find a way to make it all of you and what you think. So many women hate what you're doing. That is a clear indication to me that you're doing you're doing something right. That's how you know I'm doing it right. If a woman asks me for liposuction or a tummy tuck, what am I doing buying her any Christmas gift? She's lucky to have a home. Oh, my God. That's messed up right there. That's messed She's up. She's lucky I don't kick her the hell out. You're shallow. Come on, brother. Haven't you ever done that when you were a kid? Have you ever gone to toilet paper at somebody's house? This was a bitch who drove in her car directly to my house with a mission. This is this is a broad you're talking about? Yes! Oh, man. Pursuit of the fullest. From Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I just have Tom Likas! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Wide open telephones on this Friday on the Tom Likas Show. You can call us about anything that's on your mind, anything at all. It could be anything we discussed on the air this week. Anything you should have talked about, you can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinating. And if you're not, Dean J. D'Amelio will simply hang up on you. He will determine it. And then if he doesn't think you meet up with our stringent standards, he'll kick your ass off the phone. 
A reminder, there's a $1,000 reward if you could tell me the the name of the woman in my video, the one that's running on YouTube, the one you can see by going to blowmeuptom.com. Woman peed on my front door, stole my plants, drove away. If you know who this is, I'll pay you a thousand bucks. All you have to do is tell me her name, and if it leads to her arrest or conviction, I'll pay you. In fact, I'll pay you more than the theft was worth itself. Go to blowmeuptom.com or YouTube. Take a look at the video. It's a woman urinating on my front door. There it is. If you've seen the video, call in and tell us what you think. I certainly would love to get your perspective on this. Uh, so far, they list over 36,000 hits, but uh, they've had that on there all day. This will update at some point. And my guess is it will uh, be somewhere in the vicinity of seventy five to 80,000 before the day is out. Here we go to your calls, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. First hey. time caller. Long yeah. time listener. Cool. I just uh, I wish I would have seen the video of that chick uh, peeing on your rug, man. I, honestly, though, I give her a round of applause because, you know, she grew enough balls to pee on her front porch. Great. I mean, well, we'll see if she has enough balls to go to jail. Well, true, true. I mean, yeah. You know, take then we'll then, then we'll then we'll really see if she has balls. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> but you know, you know, leaving a chick's pad and you you leave it like ha ha. You know what I mean? You're running. You you leave. It's the same concept. But for a woman to just do that, though, you know, you got to hand it to her. Well, I agree. Yeah. You have got to hand it to her. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly, I mean, yeah. I hope you find her. You know, everything like that. But you got to hand it to her, though. That was that's that's too funny. I, I really got to see the video. Well, t- go take a look at it. But again, you, you say you really got to hand it to her. Do you say that about anybody who commits a crime, anybody who vandalizes, anybody well, who steals something? No, I'm not talking about the vandalizing and all that. Just the front porch, man. Yeah, but, but it's, I mean, it, it's a crime. Do you have the same admiration for people who commit other crimes? No, not at all. Why this crime? It's just too funny. Why is this a funny crime and other crimes not funny? Because it didn't, it did. You know, vandalism is vandalism, but you know, not hurting someone, not yeah. But then stealing and hurting, yeah, the same concept. Right. So why is this funny and the other vandalism is not funny? I don't get it. Just pissing on the front porch, man. You know, for for a female, you never you never expect that from a from a woman. Well, I do. That oh. I know. That's just plain Rick nasty. I know. But she must have used the phone just to do it. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I figured out. Hey, she, hey, she swung the hey. hay. She figured, hey, I'm fine. No toilet paper, so I. <laughs> <laughs> she would have grabbed a newspaper. I mean, come on. Let's be real. <laughs> I I have to agree with you on that, Chuck. <laughs> Janice on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, how are you, Tom? Great. Good. Hey, I was gonna first of all, I was gonna ask you. Well, I saw the video and the house that you. I don't know. You're always saying how much money you have in a big mansion and all that, but yeah. this house looks like a looks like a dub. Looks like an apartment complex to me. I don't know why it looks like that. Well, why you, like that? well, you don't see the house. All you see is the wall in front of the house in one shot. And the other shot, all you see is a close-up shot of the doorway. You can't see the house. Well, there's the walls up. I see walls or something up. It like, I don't know. Just... You see walls. Yeah, I have walls. You know I have walls? So you can't see in my front window. Oh. I've got a question for you. All the, you're always saying... I mean, yeah, you understand you can't see the house. Okay. It's like an alleyway to me. It looks like you live in an alleyway. Because you can't see it. Oh. And that's by design. I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want people seeing what the house looks like. Oh, okay. I'm. I'm. This is a good so, you, so you understand that you're just stupid, right? No, I'm not stupid. Oh yeah, you are. Well, okay. Can I ask the other question? Well, this house is worth three million dollars. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Just this. I don't. I don't care if you believe. I couldn't care less. I know, but it, it probably people be who've like... been there know it's a three million dollar house. Yeah, there's. If you tell all these girls, all the girls that you go out with or whatever, 
listen to your radio station, I'm sure they do, right? Okay. And they know how you feel about spending money on them. Why wouldn't they go out with you then? Why would, even though you're many... You well, money I've, I've answered this question many times. Uh, clearly, you, you like the sound of your own voice, so you've oh. probably never heard me uh, answer the question. But uh, the answer to that question is very simple. Uh, women generally believe that they can change a man. They find oh. men to be a challenge. So when women meet me, they say, oh, you can't possibly be like you are on the radio <laughs> and they start having sex with me okay. and then later when i don't spend any money on them or spend any time with them it suddenly dawns on them that maybe i am the guy on the radio but by that time i already got what i wanted yeah that's i can I agree with that and the reason it's a perfect crime is because when they complain i say when did i ever promise you anything <laughs> you're the one who assumed i wasn't like i am on the radio <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I, I love your show. I really do. I didn't call you to give me any crap. I just wanted to tell you. Yeah, that. you did, actually. No, no. I, I, I can't win with you. i seen you on um, a TV show, and I I only emailed you about three years ago. Or no, maybe it was longer than that. It was about eight years ago. I emailed you. Eight years ago. Well, I was 39. No, was 10 years ago then. 10 years yeah. ago. Yeah, it was you're on that show, a late night show with David Le It was You were in a, in a uh, you're arguing with somebody else. It was a riot, and you won, of course. You remember that show? It was out of late at night. I can't remember what show it was, but I saw that. Comment. It was it was politically incorrect with Bill Maher. Okay, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah yes, yeah, yeah. yes, I, it was. Yeah, I saw that, and I thought you were right. And then I started listening to you then, so I've been listening to you ever since. And I love your show. I think you're right. I just, I really do. In fact, today I look at the toll, toll booth, and um, I'm even though I'm 49, I look really look pretty good. I mean, I look all right for 49. And so these guys come by with the radio station on, and I go, "Oh, today's Flash Friday." And two weeks. It's called a period. <laughs> Try one sometime. Jesus. Tom Likis. 1-800-5800-TOM. Oh. Tom Likis. Hey. I think women would enjoy sex more if they got into The it. Tom Likis Show. <laughs> Tom Likas show, wide open telephones on this Friday, 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. Sorry about that. I have a delay over here. Um, I had a question, ironically. I have a delay over here, too. <laughs> I had a question, ironically, about uh, Phil. You think Hartman. that's I funny? Rogan was on. Um, I was, I know before... Phil I heard, Hartman? Yeah, I heard people get taken out uh, Phil Hartman style, and I haven't, I haven't heard that in a long time. Is there a reason for that, or is it just not requested? Well, has anyone been turned down? Uh, I have, that's the thing. I haven't even heard people even request it. Is, that, is there a point where you... How do I know what people are going to request? No, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm saying, like, listening to calls, I haven't people heard people request it. Is it because you stopped? I guess you'll have to find out. Yeah, I guess you got to take me out Phil Hartman style then. Okay. <laughs> Why would we ban that? Amber on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom? Yes? How are you doing tonight? Great. Great. Well, I was just calling to tell you that I think you should prosecute this bitch to the fullest extent, and you should put her ass in jail. I want to put her ass in jail, especially <laughs> since 32,000 people now have seen her ass. I know. I saw her last night, and I was amazed that somebody would do that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't knock on your door. I would knock on your door and make out with you and whatever. <laughs> really? Yes, I've, I've been certified by you. Is that? To you. Well, we can't say that word on the air much as we'd like to. Oh. What's your cup size, dear? Um, I'm a D, 30, 36D. 36D? Yes, sir. Really? What do you yeah. look like? Tell me uh, what you look like. I am 5'4", 126, and I got blue eyes and dirty blonde hair. Really? And it's dirty. Really? And you like yeah. and you like to ride radio personalities like a pony? Oh, I do. As long as it's you, Tom. Is that so? Yes, sir. How old are you? 
I am 25. Is that so? Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, and I've been listening to you since I was 17. Oh, is that so? <laughs> yes, you can thank my mother for that one. Really? If only she yes. knew now that you're calling up and offering to come over and ride me like a pony. Yeah, she might not be happy to know that one, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> get you. And you've given me lots of lots of help, and I like the way you help women get out of bad relationships, too. So all these women that talk bad about you, they can shut their mouth. That's right, or Amber's <laughs> going to come over there and shut it for you, for God's sake. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here comes Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. First time, long time. Thank you. Where were you 10 years ago in my life? Uh, well, I was here, Joe. The question is, where were you? Uh, I was from in New York. That's oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I know. But I love SoCal. i got to hand it to you, to SoCal, though. That's right. So, uh reason I'm calling tonight is that, that last a few calls ago, you had a guy say that, this this girl had some ball to do that? Yes. That girl is a dumb bitch. Not only does she pee in public on your doorstep, but then the pee goes all over the plants, the pot of plants. I don't know if you caught this or not, but I saw it twice, and I was like, oh, my God. She picks up the plants that have pee all over the bottom of them, puts them around her arms, and then puts them in her car. Right. Oh, Can you imagine what's on that jacket? By the way, she thought about it. You notice she she hesitates. Like, do I want to take these plants with the pee on them or not? Yeah. And she takes them. That's the then she's, what the hell? And she takes them. Then, oh. after after they lean up against that, that ratty jacket she's wearing, then she puts them on the uh, on the carpet, uh, the presumably the carpet bed of her uh, uh, her trunk. Yeah, amazing. That's amazing. That's why, I mean, that's what amazes me. This girl has balls. She doesn't have balls. By the way, there's a man tonight, there's a man tonight having sex with this woman who doesn't even wipe. Well, she had those doomy boots on. Those are common in SoCal or Los Angeles, you know. You know, so not surprised that she's wearing those. Look at that. Yeah. And then she had that nice little skirt, of course. But, hey, on the video, did you guys blur out her crack? <laughs> uh, will you see what we see. <laughs> oh, okay. Nothing I is gotta... nothing is pixelated. You know, it's uh, YouTube. It's not network television. I hear you. Her side shot makes her look like she's maybe probably in her thirties. That's what I got out of it. She has but quite she... a schnoz on her, at least quite in that a shot. Schnoz. Maybe you know, maybe it was, you know. I was kind of like a Celine Dion schnoz. Yeah, kind of big and uh, big bulbous nose. Back. Yeah. You know, the old hair pulled back thing and the little shorty skirt. She thought about what she was doing. Oh. Uh, but you did, you can't see all seven shots because they. I, I could imagine. I, I have imagine. thirteen cameras around my house, and there were seven of them in which her car or she appeared, and she was driving at a high rate of speed directly to my house. <laughs> I mean, drive? it Who looked drive? like she was gay. She was late for work. She was heading up that hill, zipped around the corner, and came right to my front door without stopping anywhere. Hey, one thing you haven't mentioned, because uh, I don't know if it helps now. What was the time? The time of that? Like, that was morning? that was a week ago. So that's two weeks ago tomorrow. No, it was last week, last Saturday at seven thirty a.m. Who does that in the morning? Who gets, who gets up at seven thirty in the morning to go pee on someone? Well, door? look at the way she was dressed. It looks like she was up from the night before. It looks like someone was, you know, you know what, the night before. And what? <laughs> of course, you look what they were getting. Well, the filthy, you know. disgusting. Ooh, you know it's funny. Who drives a car that's got like half body work done and half not? That just amazes me. <laughs> I'm driving a 2008 Lexus right now. I know you're a big Lexus fan, and I am. Me, you cannot drive a car like that and expect to get any type of. Result. Well, her boyfriend's name is Bondo the Clown. I think that has something to do with it. <laughs> Bondo the Clown. Is Bondo right. the Clown. Yes. Listen, Tom. It's been a pleasure. Um, you feel you enjoy a lot of Lexus stuff. Uh, I'd, love, I'd love to email you some things that uh, are in SoCal with a lot of Lexus events that are kind of uh, off the record, so to speak. Test driving cars, 2008. Oh. Uh, things you might enjoy. Oh, well, put it this way. I'll put you on with Dean, and you can tell Dean all about it. I'd love to get the details of that. Love it. Wow. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing tonight? Doing great. 
Wonderful. I've got a couple questions for you. How was your Thanksgiving or your Christmas dinner? And especially, how was the turducken? We had a turducken last Sunday at my home. I cooked. Uh, Gary, uh, Dean, and Art were at my home. And uh, we lit the fire. We also lit the fireplace. <laughs> and, uh, yes, we had turducken. And uh, it's like the Frankenstein monster of roasts. Right. Would you recommend it? Or would you have it again? Uh, put it this way. If you, you better have an appetite. It's The thing was 16 pounds, and it said on it that it had 22 servings. Wow. And I believe that because, you know, there's no bones. It's pure meat. Uh-huh. And uh, except for the cornbread and, and dewy sausage stuffing that is inside uh, in between each bird. Right. And, uh, you know, I mean, you put it this way. You're never going to get more pan drippings ever than you're going to get with one of these things. Uh-huh. But would you but would you recommend it or have it? Well, again, again I, I think it's a certain taste. I think for some people it would be too much of a good thing. Right. I mean, if you know, put it this way. If you're one of those people who likes dieting. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, you eat, if you like eating light, that this is not for you. Keep in mind that the, the, the most famous person who talks about turducken all the time is John Madden. Uh-huh. Well, and after yeah. we had dinner, I turned to Gary Zabransky. I said, if we eat these more often, we're going to look like John Matt. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. But, but, uh, but is it delicious? Why it's delicious in the way that having 100 gallons of chocolate ice cream would be delicious. I see. I see. So, yeah, it's delicious. But i got to say, I had to stop eating it at some point because as good as it was, it's one of those things that was just too much. I see. I see. Oh, well, uh, thank you very much for that information. Hey, could you take me out JFK Jr. style? JFK Jr. style, of course I can. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Sarah on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 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 I was listening to you say that you have a $3 million house, which I'm sure you do. And aren't you scared that now that you've put her behind all up for everyone to see that she's going to start posting out your address or something? She probably already has. But remember, whatever she does, she makes her easier to find. That's very true. That's very true. It was so hard I, enough to think of that part. The more people she tells this to the more likely it is we're going to catch and convict her. Very true. Good luck, though, because I work for a criminal defense law firm, and not many people get convicted at all. Well, I know that. In fact, not many people get arrested. Right. Well, good luck, though. I haven't seen the video, but I'll look at it tonight. Most people don't have 13 outdoor cameras outside their home. <laughs> That's very true, and it's a good thing you had it. Yes. <laughs> can you take me out Kobe style? Yes, I can, Sarah. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Sang and the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sang. How you doing? I know uh, exactly what that car is. What is it? It's a 2002 to 2006 Toyota Camry. Now, I, the police believe it's a Toyota, but they believe it's a Toyota Corolla. The police can't tell from a Honda to a Toyota. You know that. <laughs> I work at Toyota. I know. Really? Yep. Isn't that interesting? I haven't seen the other angles that you're talking about because they're not accessible, but... Uh, the one I saw last night at home. The detective I spoke to uh, uh -huh. took the shot of the car going away right. and had it blown up. Mm -hmm. And it, they claim they can see the word Corolla on the right side of the trunk. Could look like a Camry, too, mm -hmm. if you're just looking at the text. Um, but from what I can see, it's a 2002 to 2006 Camry, and it's most likely a four-cylinder LE or CE model. Mm -hmm. Looking at the wheels, yep. Very nice. I'm taking notes. Yeah, hope you catch her. Thank you so much. No problem. Can you take me out gangster style? 
Gangster style, of course I can. Biatch. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Eric. I got a question for you, buddy. Yeah. Let's say you do catch this chick, okay? Right. Is there anything she could do to get out of the trouble she's in with you? Uh, she's got till tonight at midnight to come to my home uh, with a letter of apology. Okay. And cash for everything <laughs> she stole and the damage she did. The damages are worth approximately $1,000. Okay. And if she comes with an apology and a thousand dollar check, a thousand dollars cash, what uh, if she's hot though? That uh, take a look. What if she? This is okay. a woman who doesn't wipe. Yeah, I haven't even looked at the video this yet. This is a I'm woman like, who right. doesn't wipe. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Well, hey, you know what? She didn't do anything with her mouth. I mean, you know. If you were the boyfriend of a woman who squats to urinate and doesn't wipe. Would you be very excited about uh, getting some action there? Nope. That's my fault. <laughs> Love you, Tom, man. Can you take me out old school style? I certainly can. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Well, what would you say to a man that did have a female friend? I'd say you're a pussy. The Tom Likey Show. It's the Tom Likey Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have a special gift for those of you who listen to KLAC. Those, it's a select crowd, of course, but... Uh, Yes, those of you who uh, switch back and forth to hear the Laker game on KLAC, I'm going to save you the time. I have the final score of the Laker game against the Philadelphia 76ers. And before you tune out, it's uh, Lakers 106, Philadelphia 101, Andrew Bynum, 24 points. Quite a game for the young man, very nice. That's good. And uh, for the 76ers, is that Andre Miller? 21 points was the leading score for the 76ers. So, uh, again, uh, if you are a KLAC listener, no need to keep listening. We just saved you the time. Lakers 106, Philadelphia 101. <laughs> They're running the game in tape delay right now on KLAC. There's no point listening to the rest of the game. You now know the result. Lakers 106, Philadelphia 101. I know you probably were wondering how the game would turn out, and now I've saved you a lot of time. Now you can listen to the rest of our show, uh, you know, unimpeded. Bynum had 24 points, Dean. That may be his best game all season. Maybe his best game ever. Take a look. For those of you wondering how that game turned out, let's see. Andrew Bynum. Yeah, Andrew Miller, 21 points. Kobe Bryant had 21 points. Bynum, 24 Maybe they should have traded Kobe, Kobe Bryant and kept Andrew Bynum. Look at that. He had a double-double in the game, 11 rebounds, too. Andrew Bynum, what a night. So uh, Lakers 106, 76 is 101. No need to tune back to KLAC to hear the outcome of the game. Now you know the outcome. Make this simple for you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. See, wasn't that helpful? We're the helpful talk show. We're the one that pitches right in and helps. I mean, think how long you would have had to sit listening to KLAC to get that result. They're running the game on tape. For Christ's sake, I got the score right in front of me. No effort to give it to you. Jesus. That's great. Afternoon drive running a taped basketball game. That's good. Anyway. Again, for those of you just tuning in, maybe you were tuning out from uh, listening to the Laker game on KLAC. Lakers 106, Philadelphia 101. Andrew Bonham led all scores with 24 points. And we'll be happy to update you on those games uh, when they happen during afternoon drive. Why not? 
One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry, you missed it. Lakers one hundred six seventy six is one hundred one. That's right. Buying them quite a game. Very very nice. Many of you may have tuned in uh, from the halftime show they're having on KLAC, but the game actually already ended. That's a tape. They're playing a tape. Mm, 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 mm. Susan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm just um, here. My son turned on the radio. I'm from Massachusetts, and I don't even know what the beginning of your show was about. I've never heard of your show before. But the guy says, take me out JFK Junior style. Yes. You do, and you do an airplane crashing. Into the water, I, yes. I think that's really inappropriate. And you have a, like, a 60, 70 second delay, so callers who call in don't say something inappropriate or offensive. I mean, really. Well, no, no. We the, the the delay is there if they they do something that um, is in violation of FCC regulations, uh, or if they do something that, uh, for example, would involve slander. They slandered somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, no, if somebody says something tasteless or offensive, uh, as long as it uh, is within FCC regulations, we don't bleep it. Well, I just think it's pretty tasteless. And my son told me. Oh, I agree. Slow down. Terribly tasteless. Then why do you do it? Oh, because he requested it. I agree with you. It's really offensive. Okay, then he's an idiot if he requested it because... What about this Lacey Peterson my son tells me that you do? Oh, Lacey that's... Ta- you want to hear it? It's really no, tasteless. I do not want to hear it. Play it's- that for her, R, would you? I, I just want you to know what you're up against here. I- Are you still there? Yes, I am. Wait, listen to this. Hey. That's Scott Peterson. I guess, you know... I can't. My fa- phone is breaking. I'm offended every guess, time I hear it. At the point, my point is, like, I'm a retired deputy sheriff, and I've just seen the victims' families of these type of things, and you know. Oh, I agree. I mean, for not, example, there was that there was that air there was that helicopter. Uh, the, the guy who was doing a news report from a helicopter. Did you hear about this? Oh, two months back? Uh, collided back. with another helicopter. Yeah, I heard up. About that. People request this. This may be the end of this thing. You're kidding. Well, he's taking okay, off he's out, running. Okay, up. now it's a foot chase. Okay, that now he's jumping really to another vehicle. Now he's in another vehicle. vehicle. Okay, okay. All right, they're Close closing in. Looks okay. like they've... They wouldn't oh. think... <laughs> we're we're going to pull out. We don't, we, don't, uh, what? we don't know what has just happened right there. What kind of a sick bastard would request that? Oh. I agree with you. It's offensive. You're mocking me, but that's okay. But if you saw the the families that, you know, of the victims who die or if you go to an accident scene. Oh, I'm sure they'd be really offended. You have to go to the door and tell the mother that her, you know, whatever her husband or kid's dead. You know, I'm retired now, but it just is. If you never did that, then it's just not funny. But, you know, obviously you're popular, but it's not funny. Apparently your son enjoys the show very much. Unfortunately, yes, he does. So what does that tell although, you? Although um, he does. What kind of a boy did you raise there? Actually, uh, his mother died, and I raised him after his mother died. Um, so so you're, you're I, absolving yourself of responsibility for his taste in radio programming? Absolutely not. I raised him since he was one. I'm just saying. All right, yeah. so you know what I'm talking about. You raised him, and look what kind of radio program he likes. Well, let me put it to you this way. He doesn't call in and ask for you to send him out, nor does he call in your radio station. No, he just enjoys hearing other people do it. No, maybe he enjoys the the, whatever it is else you have. So the banter. He enjoys the banter, but not the going out. Well, he made a point of telling you about Lacey Peterson style. Where did he get that from? Because he hears it on your radio station. So he was offended by it? I wouldn't say offended by it. I think it's I think he thinks, he thinks it's like insensitive, but not offended. I just think it's inappropriate. You know, that's all. It, well, you know, there's a difference. I, by the way, JFK Junior style that's offensive. But my God, you know there are people who call in and request to be taken out JFK Senior style. Now that's really offensive. Okay, now that you got to play all of your little inappropriate things, and you really couldn't... Are you laughing over there? You're laughing. I'm not. I'm laughing at you take the opportunity to play every sick one you have, Um, but I don't... And now your son, I hear him laughing in the background. He's laughing because I am so annoyed. That's what he's laughing at. You're having a hard time keeping a straight face. 
I'm not having a trouble. I'm just having trouble. You're, you know, you're going to probably stick one, so I'm going to hang up. So, Are you married? You know, um, my husband passed away in the line of duty, but... Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. So it's probably been a while since you've gotten a good hard bang. I imagine. Again, you know, if it was or it wasn't, what does that have to do with the fact that JFK? If you ever get to Los Angeles, there's an open palm with your name on it, dear. Well, actually, when you get to heaven, there won't be any gates open for you to enter because people like. Oh, I'll you show you heaven. I'll give you a preview of heaven. I'll give you a preview of heaven, dear. Oh, I'm sure you will, but I'm going to say goodbye now. But thank you. Well, tell your son thank you very much for his loyal patronage. Well, actually, it's not loyal. It was probably random. but um, I don't think I so. Seems to know a lot about it. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. I love those calls. I really do. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. <laughs> Here's Alan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. I didn't know how I was going to introduce myself, but all I can say is fodders for your can. <laughs> By the way, did you get that Lakers score? I did. I did. Play nice. Play nice with the other uh, radio stations. KLAC is running a tape, and for people who don't have time to wait for the ending, Lakers one hundred six, Seventy Sixers one hundred one. Be nice to your competition. I'm being very nice. I'm, I'm doing this You're as a convenience. You're helping them out. For people who don't have time to wait for the ending, I'm helping them out. Oh, all right. That's another way to look at it. Hey, listen, anyway, what I was calling for, and by the way, thank you for putting me on the air. It is uh, it is a privilege, um, was I think that I have a clue. I was just listening in, and you mentioned something. You mentioned that the uh, assailant drove up directly to your house very quickly. Uh, and then stopped immediately and ran out. That sounds to me like she had done a practice run at least once or twice before and probably during the day. Because when I'm looking for an address, especially in the hills, I'm driving slow. I'm stopping here and there to check the addresses on the uh, on the street. So if you look further, far enough back in your uh, on your video uh, footage, maybe from a day or two before at least, uh, you may have her during daytime with uh, with a good look of her license plate number. Well, uh, we are certainly working on seeing that, and the police are working on uh, enhancing the video. And so you're going back a few days, too, though? Well, we're going to do that, actually. Uh, the, you know, we first had to get this video out and to the sure. police. Sure. But, uh, yes, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to look and see. Uh, you know, it takes a long time because literally you, you've got, let me put it this way, the fastest you can run that video will be maybe three or four times Sure. Actual speed. And that means it'll take you six hours to watch 24 hours. Oh, that's why you've got Art, Dino, and Gary. <laughs> that's, that's right, to give them the grunt work, absolutely. That's right. So that's I can go exactly off and check right. out my compound up in Santa Santa Barbara area. Yep. Yes. Yep. How's that going, by the way? It's going great. That's I mean, great. I, you, my closing is coming you have, soon. You're closing escrow soon, right? Yeah. That's nice. Yes. Nice. I don't know why people are jealous. It's fantastic. Well, because they they wish they were being invited up for Memorial Day weekend. That's why. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Listen, anyway, that's just my thought there is that it's, it's pretty much guaranteed she did a test run before and most likely during the day so she could see the address as well. It sounds like she knew your place. It wasn't the first time she drove up there. You might be right. Thank you so much. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Go look at the video. See this chick who peed at my front door. There's a $1,000 reward in it for you if you can tell me who she is. Go to BlowMeUpTom.com. The video is right there. BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.